I did not know this, but did you know that there was a president of the United States who was living in Mississippi at the time he was elected? Well, Walt Grayson does. Of course, Walt Grayson does, <laughs> and he's ready to tell us all about him. Walt? Yeah, Mel, he, he, he was the president of the United States, and if you've studied your history at all, you know Jefferson Davis was president of the Confederacy, and he was from Mississippi, but that's not, not who I'm talking about. Take a look. There's not much left of the old Mississippi River port of Rodney, about halfway between Vicksburg and Natchez. It used to be a thriving community before the Mississippi River changed course to the west and the railroad bypassed it to the east. But if you ever stop and read the history of the town on the markers beside the Presbyterian Church, you'll read about this fellow. He was elected president of the United States in 1848 and could have well been walking the streets of Rodney when he got the news. Zachary Taylor was born in Virginia, moved to Kentucky, joined the military, and was a Mexican war hero, and bought a plantation, Cypress Grove, south of Rodney, Mississippi, and was living there when he reluctantly became president. He didn't want the job, he never actively sought it, and after being nominated, never campaigned for it, and won. I'm sure there's a lesson in there somewhere about the advantages of just keeping your mouth shut. My friend Gordon Cotton just published an article about him in the Vicksburg Daily News a week ago and called him Mississippi's unclaimed president. The article's online. Look it up and read it. I love all of Gordon's articles. There's nothing left of Cypress Grove Plantation anymore. I imagine the house was similar in style to maybe Winter Quarters Plantation over in Newelton, Louisiana. Nothing ostentatious, just home. After Taylor went to Washington, he never came back to Mississippi. And most of the acreage of his plantation has fallen into the Mississippi River now. So the most tangible place left associated with him is Rodney, and it has almost faded away. Zachary Taylor's Mississippi legacy is falling as silent as the man himself was in life. Rodney Taylor, home of presidents. <laughs> Zachary Taylor's buried up in Louisville, Kentucky. And the lesson might be the less you say, the less you have to take back later. That was my motto when I was in full-time weather, Ken. <laughs> <laughs>